and everybody go. was standing getting into that because the question is asked time and again or the statement is said the next great puerto rican champion of course there was tito there was Cotto. there's been the long list going back for many many years of legacy defining fighters hall of famers and at 19 years old that is tossed around with xander zayas here's mark chinook Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hulu Theater here inside the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. This is boxing, this is top rank. Presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Arum. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the junior middleweight division. Our judges at ringside, Ron McNair, Robert Perez, and Robin Taylor. And the man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Eric Dolly. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 152.6 pounds, wearing pink trunks with blue and white trim. He brings a record of 12 victories with two defeats, one draw, seven victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, Quincy Chico. Introducing out of the red corner, he weighed in at 152.6 pounds, wearing blue trunks with gray trim. He brings a perfect record into the ring. 12 wins, no defeats, nine victories coming by way of knockout from San Juan Puerto. Okay, gentlemen, you already know the rules. Let me remind you to keep it clean. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. You know, we asked him about fighting in front of this partisan crowd, the Puerto Rican fans here in New York. He said, I'll be honest with you, I don't hear the crowd. I lock in. It's like I have headphones on. The only voices I can hear are coming from my corner. Well, you know, that comes from experience, honestly, because I remember down when he was in Florida, I remember he was fighting in front of a large crowd where he, where he resides. And he came out and he got hit with some shots and he was a little bit, got a little bit ahead of himself during the fight and he said, man, the crowd motivated me. So I'm glad that he went through that. Now he knows how to deal with having a big crowd and people's coming out to see him. So. Quincy Lavalese is 28 years old, 12-2-1. and one. He's never been knocked out. His last fight was back on October 30th and he's coming off a unanimous decision loss down in Nicaragua to a local fighter there. See right away, Lava Lace, very slick inside that ring. You know, he likes to move his head, he likes to make guys miss and counter. He's the, he's the superior boxer, that's what he is. It's gonna be a good test for Zayas to be patient and to not rush his punches, to not rush the game plan. The crowd is eager. They're on the edge of their seat. They're waiting for an explosion from him. Work your head. And Lungo, he's got to set Lungo. it up and be disciplined. And if he does that, it might come. But if he rushes, Lavalais can make things ugly for him by his style and, the, and, the, and just him being cute and the defensive tactics that he uses. Remember, we saw Lavalais back in the bubble during COVID back in December of 2020 when he won a unanimous decision against Clay Collard. Collard had been the hot shot buzz fighter, right? The former <laughs> yeah. MMA fighter who was fighting often during the pandemic when, you know, so many fight cards were restricted and canceled and postponed. And then all of a sudden there were the bubble guys who were fighting off and he defeated the very popular Clay Collar at the time. Well placed body shot from Xander Zayas sure right was. there that got Levelace. He got his attention, drew him back to the ropes and he's trying to recover right now. I want to see if Xander Zayas recognizes that and goes right back to the body. But the way it was set up, it was beautiful. Xander Zayas, he started with the jab, and he, he understood that Lavalez was going to shoot his jab, so he got his head off the line to set up that body shot. Boy, he's showing Lava that Lace angle right there, landed. Dre. Yes, he did. A few minutes before that angle, Lavalez landed a good right body shot as well. That long striding mm -hmm. jab. 
with the right hand from Xander Zayas and then touching him to the body with it. Lavalais is trying to sneak an overhand right hand to the temple of Zayas. He's got to be Working mindful. Free work out of that. Definitely got to be mindful. And it's all going to be about the distance and where he shoots his jab from. If Xander shoots his jab from a little bit too close, then Lavalais is going to have an opportunity to land that right hand. But if he shoots it at the right distance, then he's going to be okay. Xander's pulled the trigger on attempting that right uppercut a couple of times as we come to the end of round one, watching the 19-year-old Xander Zayas against Quincy Lavalais. Now see this unique circumstance here where Zayas is turning his head and having to look through the ropes? That is because Javier Centeno, who is his trainer and has been for many years of his career, was hospitalized yesterday and is seated ringside in a wheelchair that he just lifted himself up from. Meanwhile, Orlando Garcia, Zayas' stepfather and assistant trainer, is the guy go, go, go. getting into the ring. Bernardo, what did you notice about the communication after the first round with what's going on there? It was a continual communication between Javier Centeno and Orlando Garcia, the stepfather of Xander Zayas. So by the time he got up there, he knew exactly what he had to convey to Xander in terms of what Javier wanted. You know what, I like that. But at the same time, I also saw the father inside the ring. Yes. And I saw Xander with his arms resting on top of the ropes. And that's something that you're not supposed to do. Cuts off the circulation to your to your limbs. So then you saw the trainer, Javier, you hear him say, hey, put your arms down. So great experience by Javier, recognizing that out the gate. But if he wasn't there, young man would probably have his arms up on that ropes. Dre, what do you make of what they're dealing with in the corner tonight? I think it is what it is. I mean, you know, we're used to looking outside the ring like that in amateur fights, even sparring, you know. So I, I, this isn't something that's, you know, crazy or, or some sort of anomaly. I think it's fine. Uh, Zayas is in earshot of his trainer, so all is well. Good exchange here in round two. Zayas sweeping that left hand. As Lavalais is trying to hit there's an uppercut that does rein in. Remember, he was trying to target that in the first round. Good patience from Zayas and good body work, which is keeping Lavalais honest and is allowing Zayas to get the head shots that he wants. Took an angle and landed the left hand. Now a combination. Look at Xander Zayas. Lavalais has been pinned against the ropes. And now he wiggles the shoulders right in his face as Zayas continues to pepper him. Test, that's not going to win you fights, wiggling and stuff carrying on. He needs to let his hands go. Thudding right hand to the temple. Lavalais has yet to throw a punch right now. The referee could be stepping in and stopping this match right now. Split the guard moments ago with a right hand that came right down the middle. Uppercut reigns in. Left hook reigns in. Sanders Zayas, headshot after headshot, left hook again. Look at this series as he nearly puts him through the ropes and Lavalle stands up to it somehow. Tess, I would like to see more body work incorporated. The headshots are landing. Not doing too much to Lavalle. He's taking him well, but if Xander goes down to the body, then he's going to do more damage and weaken Lavalle. There was a big looping right hand that came in moments ago. The punch total for the second round alone by Zayas is going to be off the charts. Here come punches up. Lavalle has never been knocked out. Stood up to it. In the amateurs or pros, Lavalais has never suffered a knockdown. Big round for Xander Zayas, but it all started with this overhand, right hand to the back of the ear ne and neck of Lavalais, followed with an uppercut. And then you see Xander Zayas keep his range, meaning he didn't fall inside. He stayed at the right range to get the right shots through, those right shots being the uppercuts and the short right hands. Another right hand, and he didn't allow Lavalais to counter. Lavalais felt like he was 
in deep water because he was getting hit, but Xander Zayas was far enough away where he couldn't get a shot back. Well said, Dre. And if anybody's wondering why Lava Laser's getting hit with those shots, well, he squared up on the ropes. The only way you can go is to the left or to the right. You can't go back, really. So he is able to land those straight punches and load up with every power shot that he has in his arsenal. Round three in that second round, the barrage of punches. 54 landed, more impressive than that. Of the 54 total punches landed, 47 of them were power shots. He landed 64% of his power punches thrown was 47 of 73. Bernardo. That's it, that's it. Javier, again, Sosa Luis Sanchez in Tucson. We saw Xander punch himself out for a moment. What did you think of that barrage of punches in the last round? Well, you know, he was, he was a little bit more composed. He's, you know, he set a couple of punches out and then he, he took some time defending himself and then started throwing some more. So I, I'm not worried, you know, the way he threw that time. Last time he just tried to throw a barrage of punches. This time he was actually trying to place his shot. So I'm happy with that. What do you want to see in terms of adjustments here in this round? Uh, well, I want him to, uh, first of all, you know, keep using that jab. He's frustrating with that jab and keep touching that body. Thank you very much, Javier. Good to see you here. Joe. Left hands have sent Lavalais off balance already here in round number three. What I want to see from Xander Zayas is I need to see more feints. He got the jab going. Give me some more feints. If he uses the feints, then he'll be able to open up more offense for himself. And right hand, left hook sequence that landed a few seconds ago traveled a few inches, both the right and the left. Beautiful two-piece from Xander Zayas. Pull that arm out. No wasted movement. Efficient in range. And again, far enough out of range, Pick a lot could not count. No wasted movement. Efficient. That's important. A young guy who's fighting under the bright lights in New York in front of a sold-out crowd who's composed when he has a fighter hurt. Javi Ellison, today, if you're not in position to throw, it doesn't matter what you throw. It's all about your feet. And Xander has not been out of position all night. It starts with the jab. His feet have never been off, and he's kept his distance to what Dre has said. Remarkable discipline for a 19-year-old kid at home or in a, a friendly crowd. And that's what opponents, that's what they look for young fighters who are eager and anxious and have everything going for them. That's what they bank on is for the young fighter to make the mistake that they can capitalize on. The problem for Lavalais tonight is that Xander Zayas has kept that to a minimum. Ten seconds. Ten. Orqua party in New York tonight, and they are loving what they are seeing out of Xander Zayas early on. He has a 90 to 17 connect advantage. 90 to 17. It was a dominating second round. It's been a dominating effort the first three rounds for the undefeated 19 year old against Quincy Lavalais. Yeah, I want to. Zayas is not going to make any mistakes that Lavalais can take advantage of. Lavalais has to create the opening, and that means he's going to have to take some risk. And that doesn't look like it's his temperament. He likes to lay back and counter. But if he's going to put himself in a position to try to land a shot, he's got to try to open up. He may get hit, but he's got to fight fire with fire in hopes that that will, op will create an opening for him to take advantage of. Yeah, I want you guys to check out the skills of this young 19-year-old Xander Zayas. Check this out. He starts with the jab, pays attention to defense afterwards. You see that little right hand down to the body? Beautiful sequence, punch it in between after starting the action, playing defense, and then finishing the action. Beautiful skill by the young, young gun. It's good work right here from Xander Zayas. He rips those body shots without falling in. That's not easy to do. You have veterans that fall in with their body work, smother their work, 
and they're not as efficient, and they don't remain, they don't keep the leverage with the body shot. But Zayas has found that sweet spot where he can get the body shot off, get maximum power, but be out of range for the counter. There's that right uppercut coming off the jab and then a short right hand upstairs. Bernardo, what are they saying in the corner of Quincy Lavalese? Felix Malispin is saying that he feels that this is a moment that Lavalese has to pick it up because they saw how many punches Xander threw in the last round, but he's got to get off the ropes. He's got to counter him and leave space to land that left hook. And Tess, that's exactly what we've been saying. Lavalese has to silence that voice in his head. That's trying to convince him that a win is going the distance. He's got to take the risk to try to have a huge upset tonight against the young fighter Xander Zayas. Is it easy? No. But that's what you're here for. You signed up for this, so he's got to press forward. Yeah, well, then don't put the earmuffs on and sit in the corner, right? You got to get out to the center of the ring. You got to go forward. <laughs> you know, Lava Lays, you remind me of the, the car wash guy that don't like to get wet. What the heck are you doing fighting if you don't want to fight? What the heck are you doing at the car wash working if you don't want to get wet? Throw those pants, man. Throw those hands. Ten seconds. Talking all that stuff in the fighter means that he's going to win this fight, but he's not letting his hands go. Just ate another right hand upstairs. Yeah. Edgar Berlanga, his final moments of preparations. He's with Andre Rogier, veteran trainer. You know, last time out, he wasn't pleased with his effort, with how things went against Marcelo Coceros. But he said, I needed that fight. I needed the fight. I needed getting injured. I needed getting dropped. I don't know whether he views it as a wake up call or alarm bell going off or what it is, but this is a guy who started his career in a way that got so much attention, so much mainstream attention, 16 straight first round knockouts. But does it serve you well long term? Tonight, we write the next chapter for Edgar Berlanger. He goes up against Steve Rolls. That's coming up in moments. Round five scheduled for eight with Xander Zayas in control against Quincy Lavalese. 116 out of 279 punches landed to this point. Doubling up that left hand jab and then the uppercut. Now he touches the body with a straight right hand. Test those shots are placed. They really they're are. Hard. They're placed. Yep, that left hand right under the right elbow especially, just taking that slight little dip to the left. Slight little dip to the left, and I, I like the fact that he's hitting high and then going down low, bringing those hands up, creating that opening. There he Ooh. goes again. Three-punch combination that finishes with the left hand to that right flank. And now Lavalese tries to dig in himself. Xander meets him underneath. Beautiful work on the inside. Getting his head on the outside of the shoulders. Wide base. Staying relaxed in the inside. Which is very important. Lavalese will land occasionally to the body. It's just few and far in between. Work it on three. Work on that. Pull that arm out. See, that's what I want to see from Xander. I want to see him step inside the pocket. I, I know he can knows how to operate at mid-range and outside, but step inside that pocket and take the fight. Dog wall. Lava lace. Let go over that arm. Work your hands free. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, hey, watch your heads, okay? Watch your all right? Yeah. All right, let's go. Box. <laughs> See Xander taking a walk Working around the free. park, Pull it on, getting a breather, Pull it on, and showing Lava Lace a different look, allowing him to come forward, eyeing and watching what Lava Lace is going to do. And now he's turning the tide, and he's got Lava Lace with his back to the road. Good body shot right there. Snuck and right in the right arm, Dre. It's a lot for Lava Lace to deal with because one minute he thinks oh, he can come forward, and the next minute he's getting hit with that kind of body shot once again.
the fifth round, Zayas landed 10 body shots among his 32 connects. Yeah, you're wondering why Lavalet is sitting in the corner now and not moving his legs. Well, look at these body shots that are landing from Xander Zayas. Coming around the elbow right there again. Being relaxed in the inside, coming around the elbow, landing right on the flank. Beautiful shots right there by Xander Zayas. Round six scheduled for eight. The young rising star, Xander Sias, he has dominated from the start against Quincy Lavalais, veteran 28-year-old who has never been knocked down. Wonder if Xander Zayas is going to be tempted to step things up in these next three rounds to try to wow this crowd and go out with a bang. Lavalace is very slippery inside the ring. I know that was a good right hand. Ooh, good right hand, then wraps around the left hand, places another headshot. How Lavalace has been standing up to some of these shots is unbelievable as Zayas is hitting flush. He's tough and he's crafty. Another right hand reigns in. You said it right, Drake. Crafty. He knows how to hide inside the ring. Halfway through round six, and he's already landed 23 power punches. Short right hand with a little bit of separation. Xander lands one of those shots, be it a left or a right hand, in that right spot. It's going to be trouble for Lavalace because even though he's taking the shots, he's chipping away. Xander's eyes is chipping away at the old steel, and you can only take so much before something gives. It's a lot of punishment, Dre, a lot of punishment. Tough guy, never been knocked down, never been stopped. But look at this, bent over and absorbing headshots. Straight right hand comes in. Here come the dog wall. Here he comes. Xander Zayas trying to step it up right now. Stepping on the gas pedal. Trying to beat the fight out of Lavalais. Lavalais is not only hurt, but he's weak. You can Ooh. get inside. You feel the opponent's body. His strength is not what it was in the early part of the round. That should excite you as a fighter. And that's why you're seeing Xander Zayas press forward. I just truly admire the punch selection by Xander Zayas. You know, changing up the cadence, the speed of the punches, and going to the head and also to the body. Not staying with the same combination over and over and over. They were so wowed by that second round by Zayas. He landed 47 power punches and it just landed 43 in that sixth round, Timmy. Take yeah, back. again, tactical. It's the how, the why, and the when you do things. That's what's important. You know, everything has a purpose. Look at this young man right here. Look at the placement with these punches. The right hand, he sees the left hook. And you see Lavalet. You see the craftiness with Lavalet. He's rolling with a lot of these shots. He's making these, these shots are grazing them on the side of his head. Some are hitting him hard down to the body, into the head as well. But he's taking them well, and he's still in this fight right now. Ringside positions, as they should be, taking a look at Lavalais. He has absorbed a lot. 192 total punches have landed on him. 154 are power punches. And Zayas just goes straight across the ring and meets him in that neutral corner. As he should. Lavalais, Lavalais says he was going to wear him down and take him out by round seven. I don't really think that's going to happen, fellas. But we're here to see Xander Sias put on a show, and I want to acknowledge Lavalaise's chin. And Mark, if he doesn't start showing his trainer, Felix Malespia, something, he may be the one going out in round seven because Malespia said he's not hurt, but I don't want to see him take that many shots, and I will call a fight if he doesn't show me something. Yeah, these are the kind of nights that are actually more concerning. Three consecutive left hands of just a guy who's too crafty and too tough and keeps absorbing. These are the kind of nights that are more concerning. 
Yes, Lavalier has made up his Lavalier. mind before he got here. Whoa. Yeah. Did you see what he just did with the right hand as they were locked up yeah. with the head of Zayas underneath? Another for nail. Another for nail. Another for nail. Whitaker. He tried to go around. Watch what he does when his head is locked up. <laughs> oh. L little love tap. I say no, little love tap. But Lavalier's made up his mind, fellas, before he got here. He wasn't going to go easy. So the referee and the trainer, they do need to keep a a close eye on him because you're right the accumulative effect of the punches are Work really what can get you it's Watch not just heads. the one knockout blow that's actually safer than you taking 50 shots to the head so they got to keep a close eye and respect to lava lace because he's not winning this fight but he certainly hasn't given up Hey, this is the longest that Xander Zayas has ever done it, but been in his career so far. And he still looks pretty fresh for me, to me. Now he's using angles. And there's an angle as wow. he went off to the left and came back with the right hand. Ooh, Xander Sharp, yeah, you have a lace, yeah. a different look. When you've done the same thing round in and round out, even though you're successful, even though it's effective, but it's not getting the desired result, you got to change it up. And that's what you see Xander Zayas doing right now. Work your hands free. No holding. Pull that arm out. Let go of the ropes. Pull that arm out. If you haven't noticed, Xander Zayas using that lead hand quite often. Got to understand that he's a lefty, another lefty that's converted into an orthodox stance. Time. Last round. Hey, Quincy, last round. We're going to touch gloves, all right? Quincy. Fell on the floor. No, 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 no. Last round, we're going to touch gloves, all right? This is the last round. Este es el este es que está con Lucite Bien, buen boxeo, buen trabajo. Vamos a lastimar ahora con el mismo boxeo inteligente. Y ahí sí. A este es el round que trabajamos, ¿ok? Vamos allá. Look. I'm proud of you, Vince. I know. I, I right. to do it. Let's go. Let's go. Go to the body. Let's go to the body. Go for it. Come on. Let's go. Hey, go fight that motherfucker. Shut Eighth and final round between these two. Xander Zayas, we watched that great run he had last year. Fought six times last year. So active, was sensational. And he had that brilliant blue dyed hair the braids the longer hair now you see the short haircut Don't wrap him up. and he Pull said he's up. doing that stop, 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 stop. to honor yeah, Jessalyn yeah, Silva yeah. from New Jersey who he calls one of his sisters in boxing who's going through a cancer battle he said he wanted to do it for her they have a great bond she was a little down and she had to cut her hair and he said she had beautiful long hair and was going through what she was going so he cut his hair Work your hands free. for you Jessalyn and that is his fresh start to 2022. Ooh. Nice shot. That uppercut right up the middle. What Lavalle should have been doing throughout this whole fight, being willing to get hit, but trying to counter and making the young fighter's eyes pay every time he hits him. But the firepower is often more than what it looks like from the outside, and it was too much for Lavalle to take that kind of risk early and midway through this fight. Right uppercut was able to split the guard from Zayas. Now on the inside, Lavalese trying to find his own. And Lavalese is not a bad fighter. He can fight. He's just being outclassed, outmanned, and outskilled by Xander Zayas tonight. Was right on the belt. Just put it this way. Lavalese, if he's given us this much effort to, in this last round, he could have done that three, four rounds ago. You know, he had to make up his mind three or four rounds ago. Getting in the inside, getting in the chest of this young man and pushing him back. 
he can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, it's it's funny how it's guys little. make those decisions when it's the final yes. round, isn't it? Look, man, we don't we don't have all we don't all have equal opportunities. You got to understand that some may get more opportunities than others, but the thing is, is it doesn't matter how many. It's about when you do have the opportunity. What are you gonna do? And I'm talking about Lave Lays. He's not doing what he set out and said he was gonna do. Shoe shining downstairs and then pressing it upstairs and now opening up with right hands and willing to trade with Zayas in the middle of the ring. Pensy Lava Lace is tough, fellas. He, yeah, is he is tough and he can take, but this guy can give. Xander yes, Zayas and his head to give him. Let him up, please. Box. That body shot hurt him right there. It was right in the solar flex, left hand. Two punch combination again. Well, Lava Lace yeah. is tough, but he has taken some punishment tonight. Final punch stats are going to be off the charts for an eight round effort from Xander Zayas. Right to the bell. Good job. Zayas becomes the fighter we think he's going to be. He's going to owe a debt to Quincy Lavalais. So with Zayas completing eight rounds, Edgar Berlanga is up next. Locker room shots brought to you by the Modelo Fighting Spirit Camp. 34 rounds of pro experience and 18 fights Everyone's coming into his desk, career. Right. Had to switch things up in the corner. You see Orlando Garcia as Zayas dances the night away. Now Javier Centeno is up on the ring apron. Peter Kahn, veteran manager, congratulating Zayas. Who landed 216 power punches over eight rounds. 216 out of 386 thrown in eight rounds of work. This was good, Tess. I'm not going to lie. I mean, everything that we go through in our career is an ingredient to humble us and to make us better. I like the fact that, you know, Xander Zayas went eight rounds, eight full rounds. Lavalais, he came here. He didn't come to win. I think he came here to survive. I'll be honest with you. But you know what? He gave the young man a different look. I see some things that the young man still needs to work on. And understand that he's still 19, but he's in the hurt business. I get that. But it was a great test for him. He passed, in my opinion, with flying colors. I like what I saw. Here's Mark Chinook. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds here inside the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Ron McNair scores the bout 80 to 71. Robert Perez and Robin Taylor both score the bout 80 to 72. For your winner by unanimous decision, Xander Zayas! Steady work from Xander Zayas, well earned and outclassing Lavalais. Here with Xander Zayas. The fans came out in force to see you do your thing tonight. You rewarded them by landing 216 power punches in the first time you've ever been eight rounds. How do you grade your performance? First of all, I want to speak, I want to speak in Spanish for my people in Puerto Rico. Gracias. Gracias a todos ustedes por venir hoy y representar. La verdad que significa mucho para nosotros. Gracias. Thank you very much for coming out today and representing. It means a lot to us. Man, first time eight rounds, I feel amazing. I told you guys in the fighting meeting, 
then it doesn't matter who they put in front of me. I'll be ready to put on a show. You absolutely did that. Fighters are asked to fight through a lot. You've had to do it in that heat in Tucson. What did it mean for you tonight for Javier Centeno to fight through what he went through last night, to be here sitting in a wheelchair to support you? It shows me that he cares for me, that he's there through it all. It doesn't matter what happens, he's always gonna be there. And I love him for that. This fight is dedicated to him. I think there's a big parade June 11th. Um, do you see yourself fighting at the big building that day? Si la gente me quiere ver, junio 11, aquí vamos a estar. If the people want to see me June 11, we'll be here. All right, it looks like we have a date, Joe. Send it back to you. And that's a date that is circled every year for Puerto Rican fight fans in this town. And for years to come, they hope to be 